वेलकम टू मिशन ए पी एस सी ए जे यूट्यूब चेनेल आज आप फ्लुट मेकानिक्स इंट्रोडक्टर क्लास सो ये क्लास कमप्लीटलि डिस्काश कर बेसिकली फ्लुट मेकानिक्स विषय जो अपने फ्लुट मेकानिक्स सबजेक्ट इन क्लियर ना तीन मोर चेनेल प्ले लिस्ट फलो कर Well, discuss one by one from intro to the last part of our APS syllabus. So now we're we'll, uh, going to discuss about our course. That is, uh, first we have to know about the definitions of fluid mechanics. What are the definitions of fluid mechanics? So uh, before starting the definitions of fluid mechanics, uh, we have to know about the uh what do you mean by the mechanics mechanics ki hoy mechanics is the oldest physical science that deals with what stationary and the moving bodies under the influence of forces okay mechanics is the oldest physical science that deals with the both stationary and moving bodies under the influence of force okay mechanical se anukata फिजिकल सायस है जो आम बडी तो सपोज स्टेशनेर अवस्थाते थक सपोज द बडी इज मुविंग दुटार क्षेत्र मेकानिक्स फलो है ओके सो द ब्रांच अफ मेकानिक्स दैट डील उथ बडीज एट रेस इज कल स्टेटिस्टिक सो आम स्टेटिक्स क्या क्या है The branch of mechanics, जी तो bodies तो अमर rest तो ना से. Suppose our bodies are is in rest, then it is known as status. And if the body is moving or body is in motion, तेतिया माहे तो कहा बो dynamics. The basic difference between statics and dynamics is that the dynamics deals with Dynamics deals with uh, basically the bodies in motions. Okay, so dynamics is our basically bodies in motions. So motion starts to be about the bodies as such. That's uh, that motions is considered as dynamics. Okay, the subcategory of fluid mechanics is defined. The subcategory of fluid mechanics is defined as the science that deals with the behavior of fluid. Fluid mechanics are key. Hobo. Fluid mechanics is nothing but it is a science, okay? It is a science, okay? Uh, that deals with the behavior of fluid at rest. If the uh, fluid behavior is at rest, then it is known as fluid statistics, okay? And if the fluid behavior is in motion, then it is known as fluid dynamics. And the interactions of fluid with solids or other Uh, fluids at the boundaries is known as fluid dynamics. So similar, our mechanics of Zenuka is like mechanics of Kia is like mechanics of basically, so the body to rest up, take it, so the body to rock it, take it. Then it is known as statistics. And if the body is moving or body is in motion, suppose, uh, a con car by a con vehicles, give us a travel Korea. So at the times the Motion is known as dynamics. Okay, so similarly, fluid mechanics or jetty of fluid can flow or it happen, but they will interact with the with the solid particles, or they will interact with other boundaries, other fluid boundaries. Okay, then that is known as fluid dynamics. Okay, so the study of fluid at rest, if the uh, study which is carried out in rest condition, then it is known as fluid aesthetics. Okay. If the studies of fluid is carried out in rest condition, then it is known as fluid statics. Okay, so we'll move to the next. The def the studies of fluid in motions where phasor force are not considered is called fluid kinematics. So if we don't consider the fluid phasor, then it is known as fluid kinematics. And if the phasor force is considered when the fluid is in motions. Then it is known as fluid dynamics. So, what is the what is the basic difference between fluid 
mechanics and fluid dynamics the basic difference between fluid mechanics and fluid dynamics is that if you consider the pressure force which is acting or because of some pressure obviously fluid will flow if we consider the cause of that failure then it is known as fluid dynamics and if you don't consider the cause of this flow that is the pressure force then it is known as fluid kinematics similar to the uh, engineering kinematics or engineering or aesthetic kind kinem uh, engineering kinematics or engineering dynamics or solid kinematics or solid dynamics so solid kinematics at ki hoy uh, in that I ami mean, for short cause to be sari na so just we will go for we blindly start from the motion tetia hetu ko hoy kinematics in case of solids here also jodi ami pressure force to jitu ki hor karone hoyse because of pressure force fluid will flow right but jodi ami fluid to consider no koru then it is known as fluid kinematics so pressure force jodi consider no koru then it is known as fluid ka fluid kinematics and if we consider the pressure force then it is known as fluid dynamics fluid mechanics itself is also divided into several categories so fluid mechanics bibhinno categories sot bhag kara hoyse okay so the studies of motions of fluid that are particularly incompressible okay jodi ami fluid to incompressible bili assume koru like such as liquid especially water and gases at low speeds is usually uh, referred to as hydrodynamics so okay teba hu dibo pare what is hydrodynamics in case of hydrodynamics we are assuming as in case of hydrodynamics we are assuming as that the study of motions of fluid that are incompressible dynamics uh, hydrodynamics at ami fluid to incompressible belly dhore pelai analysis ko as sub category of hydrodynamics is hydraulics jitu ami pohim jitu amar syllabus ot ase the sub category of hydrodynamics is nothing but hydraulics which deals with the liquid flows in pipes and open channels so we have another subject like open channel flow if you don't know, know about open channel flow then you can visit my playlist so open channel flow is basically the channels which are exposed to atmosphere or water okay uh, exposed to atmosphere so he took why hydraulics open channel flow okay aro jodi pipe flow hoy then it is known as hydro hydraulics or hydraulic structure so we have three parts in case of fluid mechanics first part is uh, basically the fluid kinematics and fluid dynamics fluid aesthetics and we have hydrodynamics and we also have hydraulics we also have open channels so hekini ami details of discuss korim in this particular lecture series so let's move to the next slide another is gas dynamics what is gas dynamics gas dynamics is basically which is this with the flow of fluids that undergoes significant density change such as the flow of gases to nozzles and high speed so gas dynamics basically will uh, see the flow of fluids that undergo the significant density change if the density change is significant jodi amar density orthat ghanatto that density is change the change of density is significant then it is known as gas dynamics okay then another uh, category of dynamics is aerodynamics aerodynamics is basically uh, this with the flow of gases like especially air so because of the uh, airs if the flow is taking place then it is known as aerodynamics so this aerodynamics is important uh, in case of air aircrafts rockets automobiles at high low high and low speeds some other specialized categories such as meteorology oceanography and hydrology deal with the naturally occurring flows so kisuman uh, specialized categories as like oceanography hydrology e bla ke ki kore uh, naturally occurring flow bla kor upor analysis kore so we'll go to the next slide so we'll uh, slowly slowly move to the syllabus so here since the subject is fluid mechanics we have to know what is fluid so there is a misconception that fluid is uh, that directly indicating the water or liquid but fluid included 
gases as well as liquid so that is the main point so a substance which exists in three primary phases if a substance which has three primary phases that is solid if it has liquid if it has gas then it is known as basically fluid a substance in the liquid or gas phase is referred to fluid so main difference to both and as any a gas to come with fluid particles played or right so the dmr uh, particle to liquid hoy or gas hoy that you let up fluid will equal so we have to know the distinction or the difference between the uh, solids and a fluid is made on the basis of the substance ability to resist and apply shear and tangential stress that tends to change in shape. So basic difference between solid and fluid is that uh, this, uh, if you try to answer it, so in technical manner, you can say that the shear resistance. So in case of solid particles, there is a lot of shear resistance or it has a capability of resist shear, but in case of fluids, the shear stress is zero. Or uh, if you apply uh, any force or any shear force, the fluid particles unable to resist that shear force. Okay, a solid can resist and apply shear force, shear stress by deforming. So if, if you apply some forces to solids, then uh, or some shear forces to solids, then the solid bodies start deforming. But in case of fluid, if we apply shear stress, then it is continuously deformed under the influence of shear stress, no matter how small, okay? So if we have small quantities of fluid, and if we apply some shear stress, or if we apply from shear force, then the fluid particles will also start deforming or start defo deforming continuously but solid at kihoi in case of solid they don't doesn't deform continuously okay so th this is the basic difference that in case of fluid under actions of shear is this continuous deformation taking place and in case of solid under applications of shear is this the deformations is not a continuous okay it try to bend okay so in solid solid at kihoi Stress is directly proportional to strain. As per the Hooke's law, the stress is directly proportional to strain. Okay. And in case of fluid, in case of fluid, stress is proportional to strain rate. Okay. So fluid or ketod ki hoy, stress to proportional hoy to the strain rate, not the strain. So that means fluid or ketod. Stain rate mane ki hoy? It is a time dependent parameter. And solid or cathode, strain, only strain. Strain is not a time dependent parameter. But in case of stain rate, it is a time dependent parameter. So, homoy or loge uh, with the passage of time, the stress in case of fluid is sensing continuously, right? But in case of solid, it is not sensing. That is the basic difference. In case of solid, uh, stress is proportional to strain. But in case of fluid, Stress is not proportional to strain, but it proportional to the strain rate. But that means it is a time dependent parameter. Okay. Then we will go for the next slide. What is fluid basically? So fluid or key hoy, uh, here you can see in the figure, suppose uh, we are putting a deformed rubber. And uh, here you can see the contact area and here we can see the shear stress. So we are applying some shear stress. That means some forces uh, given in the figure. This force, uh, basically, uh, it is in the direction of positive x. So after applying that force, what is happening? Uh, some angle that is alpha. This angle is nothing but shear thing is from. That is the body is try to deform, right? And for that deformations, some shear stress is taking place at the contact area, right? So it is in the case of solid, okay? Solid or ketod tenuka hoy. When a constant shear force is applied in a solid, eventually it stops deforming at some fixed strain angle. So the term at a constant force they do when we are applying a constant shear force, then it will not continuously deform, but eventually 
it will deform but it will not continuously deform and within a fixed strain angles it is stop so okay so alpha at a fixed angle where it is stop stop all right but fluid are kept up and got on a continuous angle one as okay in case of fluid the body start continuously deforming and approach to certain rate of strain and at a certain strain rate or like a you move for you right so here in the figure you can see that the deformations of a rubber eraser places between the parallel place under the influence of shear force it will be like a visualized course of opera suppose I'm a rubber at a rocky so sir third we fell a key course of praise there is so and we push or we apply a shear force F then Kyobo rubber to bend Koribo within a certain shear stain but fluid or cathode it to the cup one other okay fluid or cathode can fluid or cathode uh, the continuous deformations is taking place, right? So in a fluid molecules, in a liquid, molecules can move relative to each other, but the volume remains relatively constant. So it is always any liquid or needs or get your volume nothing easy to continue to rock on a hope you that is a ploy. Okay, so he kind of volume remains relatively constant because of strong cohesive force between the molecules. So you know, our mother due to cohesion that cohesion is more hence uh, we can consider uh, as uh, the volume of the fluid as relatively constant parameter. Okay, as a result, a liquid takes the shape of the container it is in, and it forms free surface in a larger container in a gravitational field. A gas, on the other hand, expand until encounter walls of the container and fills the entire available space. This is because uh, the gas molecules are widely spaced, but gas molecules pura container to fully lobo pare. Kikarne because hiotor mother cohesive force to as compared to liquid, it is small. Okay, so unlike liquid, gas cannot form a free surface. So, uh, in case of liquid, you can see in the figure, uh, in the upper part of that container, they form a free surface, but gas doesn't have doesn't able to form that free surface. What is the reason behind it? The reason behind it, it, it is that the cohesion between the particles of gas is very small as compared to the cohesion between the particles of liquid, right? So unlike uh, liquid and gas cannot form that particular free surface, right? And we'll move to the uh, difference between liquid and gases because fluid fluid uh, basically cover core liquid or gases, right? So difficult to compress and often regard as incompressible. So generally water, so the upon low water since water is a liquid particles. So water is difficult to compress. I mean the money force no the compressibility is less. So here can I mean the analysis coro once we uh, analyze the soil so then we are considering the so uh, uh, once we analyze the liquid we always consider it is an in incompressible up the uh, theorem left side like bernoulli's theorem and this uh, type of theorem always we have one assumption that's a uh, liquid is incompressible the main reason is that although it is not uh, 100 percent compressible incompressible but up to some extent or the compressibility of the liquid can be considered as negligible, right? So, but in case of gas, gas or cathode ki hoy, it is easily compressed, uh, sales of volume is large and cannot normally be neglected and are related to temperature, okay? Occupies a fixed volume and will take the shape of the container. So obviously liquid, liquid at a fixed volume loy <coughs> and that volume is nothing but the shape of the container no fixed volume in case of gases there is no fixed volumes is sense and volume to expand to fill the containing fixed volume law on her because you know mother cohesions to both a small way he can make you guess our particular particle black expand who is about a cool color right a free surface is from it might discuss correlate in case of since the cohesions between the particles of liquid is more as compared to gas that's why a free surface of is from if the volume of container is greater than the liquid that means see in the in this figure see this is the top surface is nothing but free surface why the uh, since the this particular container is half filled that's why 
at the top the liquid particles can form the free surface but unlike in gas gas ki hoy cohesion to jehetu kom thake because of the uh, attraction or the cohesion between the gases particles and leaves he karane ki hoy topot hiati free surface form koribo noare if the gas particles amar jodi kom ho thake still they cannot form the free surface right so that this, this is the uh, the major difference between liquid and gases okay so next we will move between uh, move to the applications areas of fluid mechanics since we are entering the fluid mechanics levels we have to know at first what are the uh, applications or what is the applicability of fluid mechanics so first one is mechanics of fluid is extremely important in many areas of engineering and science like biomechanics so if we study about the blood flow through the arteries and veins so blood flow to the to hoy that blood flow is basically related to fluid mechanics the fluid or behavior of like blood you uh obey kore that's why it is important and second is air flow in the lungs from our lungs or to air flow that is also important in fluid mechanics then we have flow in cerebral fluid okay then we have households households household sort of like flow hoy that is piping system amar jebla piping system hoy like sewage pipe sewage pipe mane jebla kon amar basically sewage digest kora hoy ekini amar with this product hoy from the toilet these are known as sewage and we have uh, also have some cold water natural gas pipes these pipes are pipes are of follow this basically the concept of fluid mechanics or the flow is we can say that it obey the rules of fluid mechanics right then piping and ducting network of heating and air conditioning system in case of air conditioning system also fluid mechanics are will be applicable hoy then refrigerator vacuum cleaner dishwasher washing machine water meter the natural gas meter air conditioner radiator these are also uh, applications of fluid mechanics and we also have the metrology and ocean engineering ocean engineering matu jothesto parmane their applicability ase that's why in case of mechanical engineer we have designs of pumps turbines air conditioner equipment pollution control equipment then we have aircrafts boats submarines rockets jet engines wind turbines biomedical devices cooling devices electronic components these all are uh, the applications of fluid mechanics right and most importantly in case of civil engineering we have the transport of river sediments and we have the population of uh, pollutions of air and water air water pollutions uh, this is also a applicability of fluid mechanics so uh, if you study civil engineering then you can know about the uh, river uh, itself works as a self clean cleansing system why the uh, river is known as self cleaning system because uh, there is some phenomena take, taking place between the water airs and uh, airs and due to it is also a application of fluid mechanics and then we have the designs of piping system then we have the flood control system these are also applications of uh, fluid mechanics like if we make the canals dams this these are basically the applications of fluid mechanics in case of chemical engineering also we can design the chemical processing equipments then we have uh, turbo machines military automobiles medicines electronics energies oil gases all other applications of applications area of fluid mechanics so fluid mechanics is a vast subject okay so we can use uh, in case of aerodynamics also uh, missiles then automobile aerodynamics dynamics is all are uh, applications of fluid mechanics okay then uh, you can see the high speed train then uh, a smoke from a stack then pollutant dispersion over a city wind turbines these all are uh basically the applications of fluid mechanics so lots of applications are there in case of fluid mechanics if you see the propeller also if you see the fans if you see the centrifugal pump or jet engine propulsion these all are uh basically the uses of fluid mechanics right next another applications area of fluid mechanics are sky jumping okay golf then swimming football cycling car racing this all are the applications of fluid mechanics next uh, come to the uh, classification of fluid flow so we have uh, now we'll come to the technical part of fluid mechanics so first we have to we we have or you can able to find about the 
classifications okay so there is a wide varieties of fluid flow problems encounter in practice and it is usually convenient to classify them on the basis of common characteristics to make the feasible study in them groups okay how we can classify the uh, fluid flows that is very very important viscous barges in viscous region of flow now first we have to know one soil for one liquid property that is uh, viscosity okay so let us discuss about the viscosity now when the fluid layers move relative to each other a friction force develop between them and the slower layer tries to slow down the faster layer so in case of viscosity uh, actually uh, the black fluid particles why they are form or they are moving layer by layer so so the relative layer due to layer or major the uh, friction force friction force develop by due to layer or major and the slower layer tries to slow down the faster layer aro je to amar slow slower layer hoy he to ki kore je to amar faster layer hoy tak slow down koribole arambha kore so that uh, particular resistance is nothing but viscosity right the internal resistance to flow is quantified by the fluid properties is known as viscosity which is measure of internal thickness of the fluid okay so viscosity is basically the internal resistance of flow so amar je to layer by layer flow hoy ase je to amar slow motionot je to layer flow hoy ase hi hodai fast motionot je to layer flow hoy ase tak resist korbole arambh kore so that resist or that restriction is nothing but the viscosity viscosity is cause ki hor karone viscosity hoy viscosity is caused basically uh, because of cohesive force between the molecules in liquids and by the molecular collisions in gases so viscosity is caused because by the cohesive force between the molecules of liquid and by the molecular collisions in gases so kitiba hudibo pare what are the major factors which contribute the viscosity the major factors are cohesive force cohesive force means the particle and particle interactions between the liquid so liquid or the particles so here are major jitu interactions that is nothing but cohesive force okay because you know the liquid or liquid and liquid or major interaction kore that's why it is a cohesive force right same particular major interactions kore and the molecular collisions are here are major molecular collisions so they uh, become collide with one another okay so the collision is another phenomena or this uh, with the help of this collisions and uh, cohesive force between uh, liquids molecules causes the viscosity okay he do ta major factor hoy one is cohesive force and another is molecular collisions then viscous versus in viscous regions of flow so what is the difference between viscous and in viscous so uh, let me uh, read the slide there is no fluid with zero viscosity so generally zero viscosity fluid dekha pa na jay and thus all fluid flows involve vis viscous efforts to some degree so he karne pratyek to fluid ore viscous effort eta thaki but ami ki koru for the analyzing or for the amar simplicity karne ami kichu man fluid ok ki koru non viscous ba ideal fluid hisabe dhori lo for our analysis but in reality we don't have any fluid we have who is have zero viscosity right so however in many flows of practical interest there are reasons where viscous force are negligible and small compared to inertial pressure force so kisman khetra enuka hoy jay amar je like inertia force hoy or the pressure force they are very very high and the viscous force is negligible so tenuka khetra ami assume kori lao the viscous force is zero so that our analysis getting simplified neglecting the viscous sum in such in viscous flow regions greatly simplify the analysis with mass loss and accuracy so amar iman accuracy accuracy to iman loss no hoy because kisuman khetrot viscosity to ketiaba negligible hoy jay okay if the pressure force or inertia force is more as compared to the viscous force right so he karone ketiaba ami neglect koru and it will simplify the our calculations right then we'll move to the next slide so viscous versus in viscous uh, flow so here uh, the in the figure you can see the viscous force and in viscous regions of flow okay this this is a boundary layer boundary layer is basically the layer which is a uh, uh, boundary okay so boundary jib like layer theke that are boundary layers okay so internal versus external flow 
So we have now uh, two part. One is internal flow and another is external flow. So a fluid is classified being internal or external depending on whether the fluid is forced to flow in a confined center or over a surface. So we can uh, divide it the flow as internal or the flow as external based on the surface. So I am confined to the channel at the fluid can fluid can flow koru, then it is an uh, basically we can say that is a internal flow or the ami unbounded kori rakho, or over the surface the ami flow kori boza, then it is an external force the flow of an unbounded fluid mane sari pale confine kora nai just surface of flow kori boko so that flow is nothing but uh, external flow such as plate suppose our plate of uh, plate ekhonot jodi apni suppose liquid flow kori ase or the surface liquid flow that flow is nothing but external flow the flow in a pipe or pipe is pipe confined right flow to so top layer and bottom layer is confined so in that case the flow is known as internal flow and in this case the fluid is completely bounded by the solid surface so obviously pipe float fluid is completely binded with the top top surface or solid surface okay do we follow in case of bottom also there is a layer in case of this top also there is a layer right next we have when water flow in a pipe for, ex for example is internal flow and air flow over a ball or over an exposed pipe during when the day is an external flow so suppose our bota jodi dise or tar karane jitu flow hol surface hot, that uh, flow is nothing but that flow is external force but in case of pipe so amar suppose sewer pipe eta ase sewer pipe jodi amar goi ase particular sewer pipe eta jodi apnar uh, flow hoy ase that means uh, sari phale confine ase so confine thokar karane mane top layer to confine hoy bottom layer to confine hoy so he karane ki hot he karane basically we can uh, say it as a external flow right then we have compressible flow and incompressible flow so compressible flow by incompressible flow key hot. a flow is classified as being compressible or incompressible depending on the level of variations of density during flow so density for depend kori ami flow fluid mechanics about fluid of we can divide it into two categories one is compressible fluid and another is incompressible fluid so we can divide it as a compressible or incompressible fluid okay so here you can say that incompressible is an approximate it with the ideal case of incompressible oil liquid but in reality every soil part or every liquid particles or every gas particles are compressible right so he can it with the ideal assumption in case of incompressible, incompressible liquids, okay. Incompressible if the density remains nearly constant throughout. So, the density to uh, constant throughout the process, to it will basically incompressible. Therefore, the volume of every portion of fluid remains unsense over the course of its motion over the flow is incompressible, okay. Density to the constant, okay. The flow to compressible. The density of liquids are essentially constant and thus the flow. Of liquid is typically incompressible therefore liquids are usually referred as incompressible substance okay liquid that generally amar ki hoy basically the density remains constant aru hetu reason or karni we are using or we can consider the fluid or the liquid particles as a incompressible substances and in case F tessar 210 atmosphere, for example, causes the density of liquid water at one atmosphere to change by just one percent. So, so the one atmosphere to one atmosphere bohai di, to titiya matte ek percent hai density change hua to dekha pa jai. So, hekar na abhi water up basically we are uh, assuming as an incompressible flow. Okay. Gases on the other hand, they are highly compressible. A pressure changes just 0.01 atom. In case of gases, 0.01 atmosphere changes. 
कन्सिडार नक then another important classifications jitu bahut important hoy the classifications is basically what is laminar flow what is turbulent flow some flows are smooth and order orderly while others are rather chaotic that means uh, in case of laminar laminar flow khetrot ki hoy in case of laminar flow the flow are smooth and orderly very okay but jodi uh, motion to orderly varied kora nai highly random then it is known as turbulence laminar is basically smooth and orderly so yet a figure dekhi ase this is a laminar flow because you know it is smooth go ase the highly ordered fluid me mechanism characterized by smooth layer of fluid is laminar okay the flow of high viscosity fluid such as oils at low velocity typically laminar so apuni jodi oil sai oil jeti slow motion of jeti it try to flows that that is nothing but laminar flow but highly disordered fluid motions that typically occurs at high velocity is known as turbulent turbulence means apni suppose dam eta asle dam to suppose ki hoy gol break hoy gol because of high water pressure tete ki hoba tar hei dokhot hei thai dokhot ki hoba water bahut speed ot flow koribo there is a lots of undulation that is nothing but turbulent flow right so we have uh, laminar and turbulent flow and in between laminar and turbulent flow the intermediate stage of the flow is known as transitional flow right so the flow of low viscosity fluids such as air and high velocity is typically turbulent a flow that alternates uh, or that in between laminar and turbulent is called transitional okay so in the next part in the next class we'll go for the natural or unforced versus forced flow what are the forced flow or what is unforced flow and after that we will go for the next topic like steady flow ki hoy unsteady flow ki hoy then we will go for the properties of fluid so jodi apnaloke video to sai bhal lagil then please uh, share kore dibo aro ei video to ami record recorded format to mor channel e uplabdha hobo so thank you for watching so jodi video to sai bhal paise then please चेनेल्ट एक बार सब्सक्राइब कर दी एंड लाइक कर दी थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग